Hello everyone. I wanted to take a quick moment and make a short tutorial video for you on how we'll be using in-ear monitors in the future now that we have the new Allen & Heath DLive mixing console. As far as what you're going to do each week, it's mostly the same. The only thing that changes is we're not using the M48s anymore and we won't be having big block modules on stage. Everything will be done with our normal in-ear monitor packs, our normal earbuds, but we'll be using iPads now to access all of the information. So what you will do when you come in is the same. You'll grab the IEM pack that you're used to using, whether it be a vocal pack or an instrument pack. They're still labeled with the vocal or instrumental things that you're used to seeing, for example, keys IEM. The change is you'll notice a number now on each pack. This is the important thing to remember. Then you'll grab whatever in-ear buds you're used to, whether they be the five driver KZs or the one driver Shures. You'll still utilize the same in-ears, the same body packs, and the same earbuds that you have been using. What will change is you'll now use an iPad to access that information. Those iPads are right here next to the tablets that you're used to using. Okay, so you've grabbed your wireless pack and you've grabbed your in-ear buds of choice. Now what you will do is you'll turn your monitor on to about halfway or maybe a little bit more depending upon what suits you best. And you'll grab an iPad. It does not matter what iPad you use. This is a universal program. They're labeled just kind of for my record keeping. For example, this is IEM iPad number one. Again, that doesn't so much matter. What matters is that you log into the program, which doesn't require a password, and you find DLive One Mix. If you see it right there, it's the white tab with the D in it. Open that up, and now you'll turn it profile view. You want to be on the DLive Mix Rack. Connect. These iPads are already set up on the production Wi-Fi network. If you have any issues with that, Simon, John, Malachi, or I can fix that. The next step is you need to connect to the admin portion of DLive OneMix. When you first open it up, you'll see a screen just like this. This is the processing. This would be where you can affect your global scope of what you hear. For example, if you want more bass frequencies, you could go up or down on the bass frequencies. Or the mids, you can move them. You can change your highs. It's a four band EQ, so you have high, mid, and low. Now, for what it's worth, you probably won't have to fix anything on that, but these are global, meaning they will affect your entire in-ear mix, okay? If you get to fiddling around with it, you don't like it, just hit the reset button and it'll go back to normal. There isn't too much you're going to need to do on this particular page. What you want to first do when you log in is go to the setup icon at the top. It says processing, mix, and setup. Go to setup and make sure that you're also on my mix down here. So setup, my mix. If you're already logged into something, you can go ahead and log out of that by just swiping it out of the way. So we grabbed IEM pack seven. It may say keys and it may say seven. Either way, the next thing you need to do is go to the tab at the top here that says mix. So this is going to determine what this iPad is going to be mixing. Again, it doesn't matter what iPad you use. You just need to access the parameters for IEM number seven in this case. So you will go in and you see here they're all labeled IEM one two, three, four, five, so on, all the way through. We picked up IEM7, which is the keyboard one. It happens to just say IEM7. You'll select that, and it jumps down here into My Mix. Now, that's really the last thing you need to do. If you want and you're a more advanced user, you can now go to Inputs, and you can pick the top eight things that you absolutely know you're going to want to access. But that's really not a big deal. You're pretty much done now. You're scheduled. It says right there, mix in blue.
That's very important. That is your overall master mix for your body pack. So that's why the two numbers have to match. That's what helps you to be able to control that particular inner feed. Now that you've selected to be in charge of IEM number seven, you're done. Now go back here to the top tab where it says mix. And now you're in mix mode, okay? So what I like to do is keep my mix with IEM 7. This is your master volume. This is how you control the overall output of your entire body pack. So you have here a master volume on your body pack itself. You can turn that up and down. But this one sets your overall amount of input from everything that's going to be going into your ear pack. So what the best thing to do in the sound world is put it at zero. Now, some people may say zero means nothing. Well, in the sound world, zero actually means unity. So you want that. Unity means I'm getting the best, most true representation of the signals coming to me from the board. So put your master on zero. From there, if you need to turn anything up or down, use the dial on your body pack itself. So now you're done. You don't need to even really access my mix anymore if you don't want. What I like to do in mix mode is put my vox, which is vocals, in the top panel, my instruments on the second panel. If you decide you want to mix the drums, click the drums tab. You can intermix any of these on the top or bottom screens that you want. My personal preference is vocals up top, instruments and drums on the bottom. So this is logged in to the classic service currently, which means that our DLive board is currently going to pull up and access stuff for the contemporary service. So you see there's my name and Brendan and Jess. Also, it's Philip, Red Mike, White Mike, Blue Mike, Green, Yellow. MD means music director. So in this case, it's Phil Talkback, my, my music director. This will be a second music director. This is the front of house Talkback. In other words, this is when the sound people want to talk to us. This is the volume we need to have up to hear them. This is Vox Verb. Anytime you see Vox, it's a shorthand for vocals. So Vox Verb is how much reverb on the singers you're going to hear. Here's if Justin is preaching, handheld mic, Chris is preaching, so on. If you want to hear the Mac, you can hear the Mac or the iPad. Don't worry about that stuff. But any of the vocal-based inputs are going to be on the Vox setting. On the instrument setting, you have bass, acoustic one, acoustic two, electric guitar one, electric two, kawaii, Nord, click track. All of those things are accessible right there at your fingertips. If you want to hear more click, jump to either instrumental or drums because it's on both layers and turn the click up. All right. If you want to hear more or less drums, jump to the drum page and adjust the drums according to your desired amount of hearing. One last thing you should note is that you can also pan things. This is a really helpful tool. You should be using both in-ears if you're able because only one has a tendency to hurt that ear in the long term, and panning is a life-saving experience. In my experience, panning is great because you can put, say, uh, it, last, last week, Brendan, Jess, Steph, and I were all singing. So I could put the two male vocals in the middle, but then I could put Jess to the right or Stephanie to the left, and it creates a spatial array of the vocals in, my, in your head. A lot of people will do that. They'll pan one guitar to the left, one guitar to the right. That's where you do all of this. You have control over the master, over, over the master volume, your individual input volume, as well as panning. I hope that helps you guys understand better how this new system works. If you have any more questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks a lot. Another thing I wanted to make sure I noted was that you're still going to use the tablets for the actual music, for music stand, and then you'll use the iPads for mixing your in-ear monitors. Essentially, the iPad is taking the place of the M48 because it's much slimmer, sleeker, and easier to hide on stage.